All right, so if you've seen the video on how to convert local to Zulu and Zulu to local, I did a very basic video. But you may be saying, all right, senior, I know how to do that. It's some of the other questions that I see, either on practice exams or even the ones from your site, that I just can't quite figure out. And I think I know what you mean, so I'm going to go ahead and bring up a question uh, from one of my tests. All right, before getting into a question, I just kind of wanted to show you guys a little behind the scenes here. Uh, we'll go into some of the quizzes that I have. Uh, we're going to go into this basics of time quiz. Uh, it's important that I want you guys to see that we need to know this stuff. Like most of these questions, some of the basic questions are coming from your rate training manual. And I threw in some more advanced stuff in there to challenge you. But let's look at some of these scores. All right, 28%, 24%, 52%, 68%. Forty-four. All right. So if I got my leadership here watching this video, this is what's important, right? Our guys that are taking the exam, we got to get good at this stuff, the basic time stuff. So let's bring up one of these questions. What is GMT if the zone time is a hundred? Uh, what is GMT if the zone time at one twenty-seven degrees forty-six minutes west is nineteen forty-five on the twenty-fifth of September? So. Here's your options for answers, and I'm not going to show you which one it is. So we'll work together. Basically, if you watch the basic video that I posted, all we're trying to do is figure out local to Zulu. Because it's asking me, what is GMT? So in order to do this, I have to have two of three of these variables. I know what the local is. It's in the question. I have to find out what the zone description is in order to get Zulu. And how do we do that? we have to take the longitude and divide it by 15. Divide it by 15 because there's 15 degrees in a time zone. <clears throat> now, uh, you can't just go in there and type in 127.46, right? You can't do that. You have to take the 46 minutes and divide it by 60. 46 divided by 60, and that gives you a decimal of a degree. 0.76 so on degrees. All right. If we add 127, this essentially is the same number. 127.7 yada 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 is the same thing as 127.46. Once you divide this number by 15, you get 8.51. And here's the thing. <clears throat> if it's 0.51 or higher or 5001 and higher, you're going to round up to the next time zone. If this was 8.49, you would round down to the eight time zone. But in this case, we'll be rounding up. So we know that our zone description is nine. But is it a plus nine or a minus nine? In this case, we should know that it is a plus, right? Because all of the zone designators in the Western Hemisphere are plus. That should make our problem go by really easily now. From L to Z, let it be. So 1945 plus 9 is going to give you what time? Well, obviously, it's going to be the next day on the 26th. And if you add 9 hours, you're going to get 0445. I hope that makes sense. Uh, the way that I always do math, and what helps me is I just add this straight up. Nine hours, 19 plus, or 19 plus nine equals 28. And there's only 24 hours in a day, so 28 minus 24 gives you 04445. And if you have to subtract, that means you're going into the next day. And <clears throat> that is the correct answer, 0445 on the 26th. So hopefully uh, this helps somebody out. Uh, and again, if it doesn't make any sense to you, make sure you go back and you go watch the basic video. All right, that's all.